Wow, this one, um, you know, I'm just so proud of how our team fought back from being uh, 21 down. And um, they grew up tonight. I, I can say that about them. You watch them, they came together, and no one had a selfish uh, attitude. And they just continued to scratch and, and they get back in the game after being down 21 there in the third quarter. You know, probably the biggest turning point in the game when we were up by 10, had the momentum going and let a long run get out there right before half. And then end up, they scored in three plays and then we turned the ball over and then they get a field goal. But uh, give them up 21 points there in the third quarter, that's where we had a battle from 21 down. But just uh, watching Gerard and the offense and how they just kept answering and answering and answering. And, and uh, you know, just, you know, just so happy and we can learn a lot from this. There's a lot of growing up tonight, but there's a lot of mistakes out there. We just got to get those corrected. Questions? Wait for the microphone to come to you. Sean at front here. Coach, I know the end of the game is going to be most of the conversation, but what do you do to shore up a defense that really uh, struggled stopping a run tonight? And, and that's the thing, Sean. We just, you know, it's, everything was gap. You see the one big run. We sit there, and the guy's in the gap, and then he turns back and, and uh, try to fight off the defender. But it, it's, it's all gaps, and we got to be, we got to get off of blocks. We got to fit blocks, get off blocks, and that's what we didn't do a good job tonight. And you know, the, the big runs there. It's, once even when you're in zone coverage and a ball breaks the line of scrimmage, you have, a, you should have enough eyes on the line of scrimmage where guys can make the tackle, and we didn't. Charlie, y'all are so young. Y'all have to play, you know, almost mistake-free ball. But when you're looking out there, a lot of mis a lot of seniors making mistakes tonight. Did that bother you? About how much how much veterans are doing out there? Well, it's it's it just you know I can't point out Brian. You know, seniors, you know, juniors, freshmen, or sophomores. It, it's a lot of mistakes that were being made. And you're right. You when you're young, you had to play uh, almost just free ball. I mean, it's mistake-free, and you, you just can't. You know, those things can't beat you up like they're doing right now. Charlie, have you had a more devastating loss as a head coach? And could this have been a turn the corner around game for you? Hey, this, is, this, this one here hurts, you know, because you watch our team and you, you watch your rod take off and it's, what, a minute and 11 and we go and score. And, and, you, and uh, extra points like automatic. You know, I, I didn't even look. You know, I'm thinking, uh, what I'm saying, I'm on the headset in advance. They got a minute and 11. What are we going to do on defense? Because we have to stop them. And we can't just let him. We got to get pressure on him. We can't let him drive the ball because we stopped him the last few times. But I said, now they can open it back up. So we, we got to go stop him. Then look up, and, uh, and all of a sudden, I see one of their players running down the field. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know. But I hope this is one that have turned a corner for us. I hope this, because um, when you look at this, it's, uh, it's a lot of mistakes, but it's, they can be corrected. But to watch us play and fight back the way we fall back, I, that, that's what, I'm, more than anything, um, we were 21 down, and, and they could have really gotten away from us. And to watch our guys continue to play and get back into it. Charlie, you said last week that Gerard's going to make some big plays. He's going to make some mistakes. We saw both sides of that. Uh, talk a little bit about, if you would, his upside and and what he showed there in the fourth quarter when it looked like you guys were out of the game. Well, you know, you look at us and we were down, and then we take the ball and go and drive it, and now you're down 14. And, and what he can do, they start just rushing three, and he was making the throws. You know, he makes the big throw to DeJay on, on an over route. And then once the, once they break down, they start covering us. He can get out and, and make people miss in the open field. You know, that last run that he scored a touchdown on was really electric. I mean, you see him and he takes off. And we call Q draw. And he makes a one guy miss. And then all of a sudden, he just, you know, in open field, he's very dangerous. But uh, just watching him, it, it, he, he's exciting. And it, it has brought the excitement into the team. It just, you watch our whole sideline now. When our offense takes the field, our, our guys are all just locked in. And, and they, even when we took the ball, when we went back out there to go and tie the game, they just had, they just knew we were going to go out and go tie that game. Ricky? Charlie, I'm, I'm sure the locker room obviously very down. How do you make sure that they can step back and actually see what they did accomplish tonight despite losing like that? You know what, Rick, I, when I walked out, I heard all, all the seniors, I heard Jay Gray and them all pull them together, and they were talking, and, which is really good. And, and now that they're beginning to take ownership. And so with them taking ownership, I think that's going to go a long ways. And, um, you know, a lot of guys in there hurting, which is good. I mean, the first time I've seen guys like it really hurt. And uh, 
Yeah, and just, you know, where it hurts is, is to watch them fight back the way they fought back. Charlie, I had a question similar to that. It seems like this program, you and the, and, and the kids really needed one of these breakthrough type victories to kind of hang the program on. It, I mean, how crushing is it to be that close to one and not get it? And, and how quickly could, do you think you can rebound? Well, we have to rebound. We have no choice to build the rebound. I, I think they'll, they'll come back. And, and uh, it, it was tough. It, it was a crushing loss, but they can come back. It, I don't, but what you saw, you know, what, what we've seen in the past is that when we get down 21, we end up getting blown out because we don't come back. And now you watch them continue to fight and fight back to fight themselves back into it, and they continue to play. Coach, do you almost have to now say, switch it and say you got the Big 12, you know, it's part of your schedule coming up. So, you know, those three games were your learning games, but now you go into the meat of your schedule. Yeah, it is because we come home next week with Oklahoma State and uh, they're a very good football team. I know they're ranked, but we, we got to get it back together and, and we come in here tomorrow and, and uh, learn from it. You know, there's it's a lot of mistakes, but you, you look at it and uh, we, we didn't play that well. We didn't play that well on defense. So, you know, offensively, we, may, we turned the ball over twice and you can't turn it over, but defensively, we didn't play that well. So it, there's a lot of mistakes and a lot of things that we had to get covered. And uh, we still got a ways to go. Coach, how much of a, of a struggle is the, the kicking game right now? And, and what will you say to Nick specifically to, to get him past this? Well, you know, Nick had been doing well. And, and uh, for that to happen there, uh, you know, it looked like he, he felt the pressure coming from the outside and just mishit it. Just go ahead and kick through it. You know, if anything, the guy maybe ran, ran into you. We got us another kick. And those just don't, uh, I, I think he just didn't kick through the ball. And then uh, early in the kicking game, you know, they were trying to kick the ball away from the Jays. So once we got it straight, you know, they, they didn't really give us no good kicks because they weren't going to give him that chance. And even if you watch them, you know, the punts that they had were all from the quarterback because they were not going to allow us to get our return team out on the field. Well, what were you saying? Oh, I, I just was talking to him, and I told him, I said, you know, you got to get your head up. I mean, uh, you know, mistakes are being made, and there's, but it's a mistake that can be corrected. Chris, the back left. You talked about how you, this is the first time you've seen this team hurting, and that's a good thing. How much hope does that give you for the rest of the season and just the core group seeing how they react to a loss like this? Well, it, what it gives you hope, Chris, is that now you, you watch guys and, and um, it, it means something to them. You know, it, it's, it's always what you talk about, you know, where's your pride at and, and when a guy's going to start fighting and, and start standing up and someone taking ownership. And, and so tonight, to, to watch that and to watch that in the locker room, it, it meant a lot. Stay on the left right here. Coach, how, was, how did losing both of your safeties impact this defense against a passing team? And how did you think Vaccaro and Locke stepped in tonight? Well, just to see Vaccaro and a PJ step in was really good. You know, that, and you hate to lose a Dylan the way we lost him there early in the game. And then, um, and then Jay Hall goes down with a shoulder. So you, you lose those two guys early, and you're right, the two guys that have started a lot of games. But, you know, they, they filled in and uh, played pretty well. Uh, you know, the long runs, we probably could have been in better position to go make the play, should have been in better position. Ryan here in front left. He, he had asked my question on the safeties. Do, do you have an update on Jason Hall's health status? And secondly, if you would, are, are, are you an advocate of the targeting rule, an ejection as a penalty there, it seems, Pretty stiff for a bang bang play. Well, you know, you look at it, right, and it's so early in the game. What is and uh, and, I, and I don't know. I don't have a different opinion about it. But they ejected him. So, but um, the, the update on Jay Hall, I think they would know more tomorrow. And he uh, he came out. We thought we could put him back in, and then he just couldn't go. Shoulder. Shoulder. Kirk here on the left. Charlie, when's the last time you had a defense that played this poorly? And, and what's your level of concern with Big 12 play starting? Oh, my level, it, it, it's a major concern right now because you look at his defense, there's been three straight games where we have not played very good on defense. And uh, when, what we've not been able to do is make a team one-dimensional. I mean, we're allowing him to, you know, his balance run and pass, which you can't do because now you can't play good defense. And then we're not getting pressure on the quarterback and he can stand back there and pick us apart. We're knowing that we're young in the secondary. We're playing a lot of guys, but still, though, those we just have to. We're going to have to play much better, and it can, that problem can be fixed. It just guys need to stand up and start playing better. Back to Chris in the back left. No. During that stretch of 21 points unanswered that Cal scored or whatever it was, what was it that you saw that 
was happening to your defense that they were able to take advantage? Well, the, the long run is the one where we jumped out of a gap, and, and then the guy, it, even when it breaks the line of scrimmage, you would think you got to get it down, and you got to get it down in the back end, and we didn't get it down in the back end, so you can't allow a long run to just, and it wasn't man coverage. When you're in zone coverage and you have your eyes, you should have your eyes right, right on the quarterback, so you should see the long run coming at you. And um, so it, it was just gap control then, because uh, you, you, even the one right before half, when we had it there, you know, we uh, the deep, you know, one of our defensive backs thought the guy was tackled. And I said, no, don't ever think that. You go tackle him, but as youth and just running up there and being in position to go make it. Last two, Brian in front. Charlie, going into conference play, are you, are you uh, excited that you have found a, a quarterback and an offense over the last three games, or is that sort of negated by your concerns about the defense? Well, a combination of both, Mary. I mean, it's, it's, uh, I'm excited about our offense, but it is negated by how poorly we're playing right now on defense. And we, we have to play better, especially going into the conference, because it's, now it's going to be um, – it's a conference where teams can score a lot of points. And, and um, you're going to have to – offensively, we can match them, you know, if a quarterback continues to play well. Last one to David here in the left. Uh, Charlie, right here. What what do you see has has gone wrong for your offense or for your defense through you know three games? What what do you sort of chalk that up to? Well, it, it's just uh, guys guys not uh, doing what they're coached to do, and it's, it's gap control. It's it's you know it's coverage principles. It's it's so many things that can be fixed. You got off the bus today and saw Mike waiting for you. Say it again. What did you think when you got off the bus today and saw Mike waiting for you? Oh, I, I, uh, it was great seeing Mike, and uh, I know he's going to do a great job.